Morning. How nice is it waking up to a fire? Oh, that, eh? It is actually very cold out right now. Come, well, for summer temperatures, anyways. To drop down to, I think almost zero degrees last night. I'll show you. There's frost on one of our tables outside. So, I don't know how that's going to impact the fishing, but we'll do our best as always to try and find them. I'm thinking it's going to be pretty slow this morning until it warms up. Look at this. That's crazy, man. It's actually not bad, though. Birds are chirping. Sun's out. There's even like dew or frost on the grass. Jeez. Anyways, well, we're probably gonna delay our voyage here by maybe a couple hours. I'm not sure because it's pretty cold right now. I don't know if I want to be out on the water when it's freezing like this. So we'll probably wait for it to warm up a bit and then go and catch the fish, baby. Side, you can be on. What is it? Oh, that's a nice size. Oh, yeah. Is he wrapped up? I think he's wrapped up. He saw him shore earlier. He's not huge, but... Nice size, huh? That's a big one, Dad. <laughs> Holy... <laughs> Hell yeah, buddy. Hell yeah. Holy... Man. Good? Yeah. <laughs> Big Larry strikes again. Post game interview, how do you feel? <laughs> feel all tired for an old man. <laughs> oh my god, silver up. <laughs> He's wasted. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Great success. That was a big jack. It's not jumping. It's not really fighting like a bass. Big wall. Oh, 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 nice one. Good.
No, 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 no. He goes this way, I got some more view. No, I'm about to get more Hell yeah, let's go, man. <laughs> I'll measure them. This healthy fish. Good again. Those. Oh, what's going on, man? How you guys doing? I uh, hope you enjoyed the vid. I just wanted to uh, just talk about what we did out on the water. Honestly, it was pretty simple. Pike fishing isn't rock and appliances in the spring. You look for the warmest water that you can. Uh, usually that means softer bottom, so either mud, clay, sand. You look for large bays with super flat areas. That's gonna warm up the quickest out of all the areas in the lake. What else? You look for the Vancouver Grizzlies. I don't know where they went. Do you know? Are they coming back? I don't know. I hope so. Anyways, that's a, that's a different story. Uh, what else you look for? You look for creeks, marshy areas. You basically look for, you basically look for the areas where the where they do the dirty, you know. <laughs> they do the dirty. Shallow water, we were fishing in three to five feet. The water temperature was 50 to 52 degrees, and then the main lake was 47, 45-ish. So quite a few degrees warmer. Um, that's honestly about it. I would say the best thing to do if you're searching for springtime pike is try and get either a map of your lake that you're gonna be fishing. So that can be a physical map, you can use Navionics, um, you can also use Google Maps too. Look at a big picture of the lake. Look for big, shallow bays, shallow water, like three to five feet-ish. Probably wouldn't go any deeper than that. Um, if you have any bays that have creeks in them, that's a really good area because that's going to be a big spawning ground. Um, yeah, I don't really got much more to say than that. Disrespect. I'm trying to make a YouTube video here. I'm trying to make a living, man. What the hell, bro? As far as baits go, I used a Rapala lipless crankbait, hands down best crankbait I've ever used. I've caught huge bass, I've caught huge pike, I've caught huge walleye, I've caught huge perch, rock bass, gold eye, everything man. It's crazy, that lure is insane. Honestly, like it's six, seven bucks. I buy one every year because they just get absolutely totaled by the end of the year. The hooks bend out, the paint's all gone. My dad was using just a white twister tail. It was about five to six inches, I think. So it was a decent size on a white jig. I believe it was probably a quarter round, something like that. And then he was using his Cabela's crankbait. It's the exact same one that we used in the 50 bass video. So if you haven't checked that out, please do. I really appreciate all the support. And uh, that's about it. So that does it. Thank you guys for joining me today. I really appreciate all your support. There'll be more videos to come. I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.